What is up guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. Today we are going to be working on the GTI, doing a, not a modification, but kind of like a enhancement, I guess, will help make things a little bit easier. And by making things easier, I mean wheel studs. So these are the stud kit that you can get from a whole bunch of different manufacturers. Um, I went with the long studs for the rear and the short studs for the front since right now I have spacers. It also comes with the lug nuts that you need to fit this application. I think I might do something different in the future whenever I get new wheels for it. But for now, these are going to work just fine. So what these are is a obviously a stud that bolts into your hub and then the other end is where your wheels go on. And you can tighten them down with a little Torx bit here and should be pretty simple to do. Just pop off a wheel, put the studs in, and then throw the wheel back on. It should make wheel changes a lot easier. No more messing with aligning the bolts or anything like that. So we are gonna have to find a way to do this in the driveway. Um, my driveway is slanted, so I might have to pull it a little bit out in the street because obviously there's still an engine here. And if you guys remember um, doing the lowering springs, the Miata was also down for that. And it was such a pain trying to work in these little spaces along the edge and pulling the car in and out. So we're just gonna do it outside today, even though we are quickly approaching 100 degrees in the middle of the day. But that's Texas for you, so let's just get started. I'm gonna throw a hat on, drink lots of water. So let's go ahead and throw the wheel stud kit in and get the car back on the road. Alright, so as you guys just saw, um, the kit I got, and this is like not even really that big of a deal, but we got uh, nine correct ones for the rear, and they, they sent this one. This was like, some of them were loose, um, and this one obviously is not, not the right size. It's much smaller. It's the right length, but it's uh, skinnier. Um, all of our short ones are fine, but I called ECS and they you know they answered right away and they are going to send me a new one to replace the skinny one so we are going to install these still we'll just have one that's a bolt still i guess um and then once it comes in the mail we'll just replace it throw it in so now we can get started So that's one rear done. Let's see, well, maybe, but studs are in with the lug nuts that they provided. I think I'm gonna wanna get some extended lug nuts um, because I couldn't get my socket on these, so I had to use the uh, tire iron. So definitely we'll probably look into some extended lug nuts to fit out there, but otherwise, one done, pretty easy. Let's go ahead and move on to the front. I'll show you once the front's done. All right, all four wheels 
back on with our stud conversion kit complete. This is the one side right here that's got the uh, OEM uh, bolt in it, but otherwise they're all back on. So whenever they send the new one, I'll just pop this one out, put the stud in, get it all set up. So with that being said, project is done, at least like 99% done. I just have to wait for the one part to come in the mail. Um, otherwise, I'm about ready to go in, cool off. It is really, really hot out. We're at 100 now, if not getting close to being over. I know Sundays are usually a Miata day, but I just don't have anything for this car right now. I'm just still waiting to find a mobile welder. Um, otherwise, I think I'm gonna give it like another week maybe. Um, there is a track day coming up in October at the same track and it's a track night in America again I want to do that again just to kind of dip my toes um, and Short of finding a mobile welder I am gonna just end up buying a welder and doing the tack welds the guy I found someone to do it and for literally one tack weld he, he advertised mobile welding and I was like I just need a tack weld He's like where are you located? I told him where I was he said, if you bring it to me, I'll do it for $100. Um, and that's just silly. At that point, I can go buy a cheap welder and just do a tack weld, learn how to do it. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. So Miata is still kind of in a process. It's ready to go otherwise besides that. Um, but otherwise for the Golf, we have something new to do later on. I'm waiting on two more pieces. It's kind of a cool little thing, um, a sponsored video. So be excited for that. Otherwise, golf is done. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you've done the stud conversion, go down below, leave a comment, let me know how you're liking it. Otherwise, give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave your comments. I'll see you in the next video.